Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna talk about my summer routine. So also please excuse my nails. I had them removed because I lost a few of them and I just got them all removed just so my nails can rest. So all I have on right now is my sunscreen. So this is my summer makeup routine just like how I mentioned. So on my skin, all I'm wearing right now is this Elta MD Skincare Tinted. So I don't know if you guys can see it. So this is actually the color that's that it is. So this one's tinted, it's not clear. And this is an SPF 46 broad spectrum. So I feel like it's pretty good. The only thing I don't like about the sunscreen is that it is pretty dewy. I prefer a matte finish just because I do have oily skin. But if you like dewy, then this is good for you. Or even if you're oily like me, all you have to do is just kind of pat some powder over your face if you want to stay matte but then the thing that sucks about that it's pretty hard to reapply because you already have your powder over it so that's something to take into consideration and then um, I recently started trying this out it's pretty pricey so I got it during a sale I, I suggest if you want to get this wait for the sale but this is the color I think it's just color I don't know if it's color e-science or just color science but this one's it and this is the total eye renewal I believe that's what it's called it's not focusing but there we go and I believe this is in the light no fair this is the fair shade and yeah this is the color what it looks like and for my skin tone it's pretty good for me it does help brighten the under eyes a bit so this one goes underneath your eyes this one goes all over your face and yeah that's all I have on my face so then um, I do wait probably like 15 to 20 minutes and then if I do want to apply like a foundation or a BB cream, a CC cream or anything like that, then that's what I'm going to do. I also do want to mention that I am um, going to try out a new CC cream, so I'll do another video on that later on. But today I'm going to be using this foundation, which I don't really hear people talk about it. But this is the Origins Pretty in Bloom SPF 20 Flower Infused Longwear Foundation. Broad Spectrum SPF 20. It says SPF 20 twice. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And this is in the shade at Light Medium Nap light medium neutral sorry my got tongue tied right there and it just says to like, shake it and usually like during summer I do prefer using stuff that does have SPF in it SPF so I'm gonna be using it this one all over my face like I said it has an SPF of thing that I really like about this foundation also is that it matches my skin color really really well um, I usually have a hard time matching my skin tone like sometimes I'll get a foundation a little lighter, a little bit darker, but it's really hard for it to be like 100%. This one I feel is, sorry, it's really hard to talk putting foundation over my lips. Um, so I feel like this one is pretty close to that 100%, definitely like 95% I would say. And I think this is probably the foundation that I have the closest one that matches to me but I love this foundation the coverage is so good and like I said I don't know why a lot of people don't talk about it I don't know if just because origins is like that skincare brand a lot of people you know they go to origins for skincare not really for anything else and also don't forget to go down a bit but yeah it's a really good really good foundation i really like it for concealer i am going to be using i'm mixing it these two just because i already have it but this is my fenty beauty in the shade 180 and i'm just gonna put it on and this adjust this camera a little bit there we go and i'm gonna be using it this kim cheat chic the most concealer i think that's how it's pronounced and i don't think it has a shade on it oh yeah the shade is light beige so I do prefer, obviously, like a, and that was my concealer brush, but I do prefer a bright under eye. Obviously, you know, everybody is different. Just do it up to your preference. This is my favorite concealer brush ever. This is from The Makeup Geek. I got this so long ago. I have no idea if this brush is still a thing, but it's called a cheek highlighter brush. And I love it because I can do this stippling motion, like going like this. But let me get my foundation brush. But, um, yeah, I really, really love it for that reason. And like I said, I've been using this brush for years. I have no idea if it's 
still a brush that they sell because I know sometimes you know they discontinue things and I have no idea but if you can get your hands on it or something similar definitely recommend it for that stippling motion I don't really use a beauty blender anymore just because I feel like a beauty blender just sucks up too much product and it doesn't just always blend good for me so I personally don't really care for it now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder to set underneath I'm just gonna go ahead and set on the eye too. I'm not gonna wear any eyeshadow today. If I was gonna wear eyeshadow, I would have used a completely different product and I wouldn't have used um, concealer there. But for this, I'm just putting it on the under eye because I'm gonna use a uh, new blush that just came out and I'm gonna show you guys right now. A brand new blush from Pixi. Let me show you guys the three colors that they came out with. So I have these three colors right here. And these are blushes on the go. This first one, I think it's pronounced Fleur. This middle one is Juicy and this red one is Ruby. So I think I'm gonna be trying, um, let's see. I'm gonna try this one, yeah. Let's try this one. This one's Juicy. This is like an orangey color. And then it has this right here. I'm just not gonna apply a lot. I'm not the type of person that likes very strong blushes. I prefer like neutral blushes. So I'm just gonna grab yeah. this brush and swipe some product off. And I have some product on my brush, which you guys can see it. And I'm just gonna carefully wipe it on. I hope it's not too much because I do not want too much. Uh, you can definitely uh, see the subtleness right here and versus right there. Yeah, it's definitely nice and subtle, which I prefer. I don't like, like I said, I just don't like very very strong blushes it's not my thing after that, i'm gonna set with some translucent powder i'll show you guys what i'm using after and then you do want to use like a translucent otherwise it's gonna cover the blush that you just did but i mean if for any reason you do want to really use a like full coverage powder and if you do end up covering up some of the blush, you could just apply some more blush over it. So that's something else you could do. But I can see it right here um, with the translucent powder that I use. You could still see it. I don't know if it's showing on camera, but I do still have, I do have some blush. Like I said, I don't know if it's showing. I just ended up just finishing up my uh, makeup. But for lips, I am using the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner with the Juvia's Place Lipstick in Lady. And it's this very beautiful nude color. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips. And I mean, you could stop here if you want to. You could just stop wherever. And yeah, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do like a full face how I did. But if you are interested... Um, I just did a little bit of contour on my cheeks and my nose, and that's it. I didn't apply any um, blush. You don't have to, well, blush powder. I did the Pixi one that I showed you guys, but I used this one from the Murillo Twins with Beauty Creations. This is so bomb. I love it. These are the colors, and I typically use this one for my cheeks and this one for my nose, and that's pretty much the whole look so thank you so much please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye